What's up, YouTube? It's Yemi here again from Swing Trade FX, and it's been a minute. In this um, video, I'm going to be teaching you about trade management. Trade management is a very, very, very important part of trading that must not be ignored. So um, to establish um, what I'm about to teach you, let me ask a couple questions. And if you're watching this video, I'm sure you can be able to relate 100%. Have you ever had any situation where you took a trade, you had a target, the trade was going in your direction, you've even perhaps made up over like 80% of your profit only for the trade to reverse and later ended up in loss. That's number one. Number two, have you ever taken a trade and perhaps maybe because you've seen a lot of YouTubes and a lot of traders and suggestions here and there and they're telling you that you need to keep your stop loss tight. And every single time you execute your trade with your tight stop loss, the market weeks you out and continue to move in your direction and finally hit your TP, but you are not part of the trade. Can you relate to that? Or perhaps, let's say you are in a trade and you're already writing a profit. You do not even know where to put your stop loss whenever you are taking your trades. And because of this reason, you either have an option on any single trade you take, either the trade goes on profit or hands up on loss. If you're in this category, then you need this course. You need this course and you need to pay attention. So trading management is a part of trading that most people don't talk about because most people tend to go for execution, how to exit a trade, how to enter a trade. And they don't actually know that when you are in a trade, the what determines the, the success of that trade is actually your trade management. So on today's class, I'm going to be teaching you how to manage your trade effectively in forex trading in such a way that you do not turn your winners into losers in such a way that you are able to apply your stop loss properly and the right way in such a way that a winning trade, you can maximize your winning trade. And if the trade is not going to work in your favor, the point where you set your stop loss will definitely take you out in some profits and the market will reverse and move the opposite direction. So the goal is that whenever you're in a trade, provided the trade is going to go in your direction, you should be able to protect your money as it goes in your direction to the point of take profit. And also, if the trade is going to move against you, provided it has moved on profit, you should be able to strategically manage your trade and put your stop loss in such a way that even if it's going to move against you, it's either it hits you out on break even or on some profits and you realize some profits so that you don't waste your time on that trade. And this is the purpose of this video. So let's get into it. It's not much of a big deal. Trust me, most of what works in Forex trading is not much of a big deal. There are those simple little things that are so simple, but yet we don't pay attention to because human nature, we have been conditioned to want to do the big things, the complex things that we avoid, you know, the simple stuff. And you are going to be so amazed at how simple trade management can be in Forex trading. So for you to understand trade management, you need to have an understanding of structures in the market. If you don't know about structures, you can go back to my video where I talked about chart structures and I broke it down comprehensively because definitely you're going to need the knowledge of structures in managing your trade. So first, I'm going to show you how it's done here. Then I'm going to take you to life examples of previous trade that trades that I had taken and I closed on profit to show you how I'm able to effectively manage it. And you can now go on your chart later and use this knowledge to actually look at the chart and look at trades you've taken in the past and apply it and see if you had managed your trade this way, would you have ETP provided the market goes in your direction and would you have managed your trade effectively 
or on trades that moved against you would you have saved some part of the profit that you've made instead of the market moving against you and this cut across all traders from the beginners to the intermediary to even some advanced trader so be humble to learn so like i said for you to be able to understand how to manage your trade you need to understand structures what do i mean and how is this important so let's go so let's say we have the market right right at this point was the point where we we'll probably spot a trade opportunity and we see the market moving on the lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs and it gave us some kind of like rejection right at this point and you know upon the break of the structure which you know if you watch my video you kind of see the whole idea on how you know i assess the market and if you want to know more you can subscribe to my mentorship program by following the link in the description and contacting me directly so now let's say we have a trade now and our take profit target is right at the spot right here now you're going to agree with me that the market is not just going to keep moving on a straight line if the market moves on a straight line all the time everyone will get rich okay so the realistic thing about the market is the market is definitely going to move in waves right it's going to move like this sometimes more like this more like this you know it might even make a bigger retracement then like this and like this and you know more like this before it hits cp correct now this little retracement all this retracement in between is actually where your knowledge of trade management needs to be applied and many people knows where a trade is going to but not many people knows how to manage it effectively in such a way that you're doing two things at the same time number one you allow your trade breathe so that it could move according to its own will and at the same time you manage the little profit that it has given to you in such a way that you've you've put your stop loss in such a way that you can secure some profit just in case it moves against you considering the fact that the market moves in swing and waves and the probability that it's going to hit your take profit is actually 50 50 and all you're doing is you're trading with an edge which is your strategy and with a positive outlook that the market is going to hit your target so the knowledge of structure is really really important here and i'm going to show you right away remember in my video on chart structure i spoke about markets moving in different fractals right so let me give an example let me give an example real quick you cannot if market is moving within a fractal like this at a frequency like this you cannot refer to this as the new lower eye definitely not probably this lower eye would be within the small fractal only for it to reject again continue like this right so you need to understand the principle of fractal trading and i'm going to give you guys an example right now so let's say we have a higher high higher low higher high higher low so let's start this to be on the four hour time frame now you're going to agree with me that the one hour time frame will look more like this a bunch of smaller higher eyes and higher lows and lower eyes and lower low makes up this bunch of higher eyes and higher lows on the four hours time frame and so for every time frame and on the 30 minutes so let me label this to be the one hour this is what it looks like on one hour you're gonna agree with me that on the 30 minutes it's gonna look something even more like this smaller fractals is gonna make up this big fractals right and smaller fractals are gonna make up this big fractals just like this and this and like this and like this and like this like this something of this nature something of this nature something of this nature and something like this and let's target this to be 
the 30 minutes. And that is why it's always advisable for you to have an understanding of multi-time frame analysis, okay? And maybe on a candlestick, like on the weekly time frame, you might have all of these as just a straight move, right? On the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, this might just be a straight move to the upside. So what is the significance of what I'm trying to teach you here? If you know the structure that, that you are trading, number one, keyword, you have to understand the structure upon which you enter the market with. You need to understand the structure upon which you found your entry on so that you can know the structure that you are going to use to manage your trade. So take, for example, you can't find, you can't, for example, have a buy entry on a, on, on, on a weekly time frame, strictly on a weekly setup and expect to manage that buy on the four hours time frame. It's just impossible. But you can manage a trade you pick on the four hour structure using a four hours time frame. And likewise, you can a trade that you pick on the one hour time frame with a one hour structure can be easily managed using the progression of how market moves as it continues to move your profit. So let me give you guys a clear example. So if I found a trade opportunity right here, okay? And let's say I found a trade opportunity right here. And this is the one hour time frame. And right here, I saw a break of structure and possibly like a break of trend line right here. And I got in on my trade upon this break. Okay. I got in on my trade upon this break right here. And price gave me a retest and price tries to move back up. What do you think I'm gonna be waiting for? I'm definitely gonna be waiting for price. Now, before we even get to the practical side of things, let me take this out a bit. Let me take this out a bit and let me introduce you into the principle of managing your trade. So let's say you saw a trade opportunity right here. Or let me bring the old one back. So let me say, let's say you 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 saw a trade opportunity of a buy right here. The ideal place for you to start placing your stop loss as price continues to move is so I'm going to use the red line to indicate stop loss is below the last eye. So let's say your stop loss was right here at the time. The moment price starts to move and start to give you a higher low, what do you start to do? You start to put your stop loss right here. The mo don't just put your stop loss when the market starts to make higher low. Market must do something for you, which is what? It must break. Market must do something for you. That means market must break this point right here. So let me use the black. Yep. Market has to break this point. The break of this point and market breaking above this point, that is when you now deem it fit right now to say, you know what? You want to take your stop loss, which used to be right here. You want to take your stop loss, which, you know, used to be right here. You want to take it off and you want to move it right here. Now, the moment price starts to break. So remember, this is your target. Okay. Remember that this is your target right now let's say price continue to move up again it gave us another break above this level you know what you're going to do you take off your stop loss from this level and you bring your stop loss now to this level below this last highs and low and that is how you keep managing your trades until it hits cp now if the market decides that it wants to move against you from this point right here and it moves against you i believe you must have secured like 70 percent of your total profits that you are making currently making so that's the point 
what I just want to establish right here is that whenever you are taking your trade, first of all, let price break the last eye. As far as market, let's say you're taking a sell trade and initially your stop loss is right here indicated with a red line right here. Let the market broke, break this last low. Let the market break this last low right here and closing below it before you deem it fit to move to consider it as a lower high. Now, let's say your stop loss was here. Now, let's look at the progression of this trade. Let's say you want to ride the market from that point right here. Okay, let me take this off, indicated by the green. So let's say you want to ride the market from this point to this point. What are you going to be doing? Now, hold up. What are you going to be doing? Now, wait for price to keep going down again. The moment you see price making a retracement again, boom. The moment price breaks this again, you kind of see the price break and close below this level. That is when you're going to take this previous that's when you're going to take this previous stop loss right here and put it right here. So let's do that right now. You take it off. And what do you do? You bring it right here. Now, let's continue with this market. So price continues to move. Let's say price continues to move, you know, again and again. And probably it hits your TP. Now look at it, right? You've been able from your point of a, of initial risk right here, your initial risk we used to be right here. Let me indicate that with a red line. You have been able to at least secure your trade from this point where you set your initial stop loss to this point right here. And as at the time when price smashes your TP, your stop loss was already in profit. This is the old psychology. So the rule is very simple. In the case of a buy, you do the opposite, right? In the case where you have a buy trade, right? Wait for the break of this level. Put your stop loss right below, right? As price continues to break this levels and make a new higher low, let it break this level again. What do you do? You move the stop loss which used to be here. You take it out. And what do you do next? You place it you know, behind the most recent high and low. And this is how to trail your stop loss effectively. Now, the question is, why do we have to take our stop loss behind every highs or lows that the market forms? In some cases, some people refer to it as higher low or lower highs. Why? It's very simple. When you put your stop loss right below this level, the truth is, the rea in the reality of forex trading, so, let me make uh so let me make an annotation real quick so the old ideology is very simple when price makes a higher highs and higher lows and you put your stop and, and it breaks and you have your stop loss right below this level what you do is you allow the market to breathe because the market will not always keep moving like this it won't always keep moving rather than that the market will always be giving lows and eyes and lows and i and it, the reality of the market looks something like this and it might even come here before it continues to move again okay so when you put your stop loss below the highs and low understanding how structure works if the market can come back right down and break this level right here if your market can come back and break this level right here notice how your stop loss is a distance away from the last low anything that makes the market break below this right level here and close it means the structure has changed then that trade is no longer valid but the fact that the market is, uh, 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 is still above this last low right here and your stop loss is right here it gives the market room for it to breathe okay and this it will be the continuous progression of the market until it makes another low when it makes another low and a break what do you do Again, what you simply do is bring the stop loss, which used to be here, just like this, and move it again to the last low, a few distance below the last low. Even if the market 
it's going to make all of this progression like this, like this, like this. You can be sure of the fact that you've secured your profit, number one. You've secured some part of your profit. And number two, you are giving the market room to breathe and to play out naturally at the same time. So the reality of Forex trading is more like this. Okay? So you keep trailing your stop loss behind the highs and the lows. Okay? So I've taught you two things. How do you place your stop loss? How do you manage your trade effectively? Number one, you place your stop loss behind the last high or lows of whatever structure you are trying to trade. Keyword, whatever structure you are trying to trade. Okay? And after, the reasons for that is because you want to allow the market to breathe. So now, let's say you're trading, you're taking a trade as this. On, let's say this is playing out on the 30 minutes time frame. Okay. And price finally breaks this point. You found a trade opportunity and your stop loss was right below this point. Right. Now, the moment price gives you a retest, or sometimes price might not give you, sometimes price might go. Do not feel the need to move your stop loss from this point to this point yet. That is the mistake many people do. Many people do a mistake, right, by moving the stop loss too early. And now they put the stop loss right here. And now they put the stop loss somewhere around this point. Now, this is very wrong. Or many people even break even directly because they have been conditioned to just breaking even only for the market to come back right here you know and you know probably come and make a retest back on this level before it lift off right now they already hit out and the market finally move to their anticipated take profit don't be that guy be patient with the market as far as your edge has presented you with an opportunity, trade with confidence and trade with understanding. So rather than putting your stop loss on break even very fast, what do you do? You take it off, wait for market to give you an equal retracement of all of this. Look at the retracement you're trading. Look at the retracement market was breaking. Now, look at this re major retest that price came to do. Don't you see that it's equivalent and is congruent with all of this they have something in common the four of them which is what equal retracement so rather than being in a hurry to secure your profit and do this out of fear it's a form of fear to always want to break even very fast it's a form of low confidence in your trading so rather than doing that what do you do you bring out your um stop loss you put it right here until it makes a retest that is equivalent with structures like this, with structures like this, with structures like this, with structures like this, which you can see right here. Until it makes that, don't take your trade. And now, after that retracement, it has to do something. Break the structure. When it breaks the structure, that is the right time for you now to move the stop loss right below this point. So if the market eats your take profit directly, it's good. Because now, your stop loss used to be here before. Now you have been able to reduce your loss by reasons of process. Okay. And when the market is like 80 pips or 90 pips, you know, then you cannot break even because you know you can close at any time. This is how you do it. So, key number one always set your stop loss behind every highs and lows. Secondly, if you're going to set your stop loss behind every highs and lows, always look for the structure you are trading and let the market gives you a retracement of either structure then break it to the eye uh, break whatever structure it is before you move your stop loss so in summary let's summarize so let's say this is a let's summarize what everything i've been teaching you before we go into the live example so let's say this is a trade right here on the 15 minutes time frame and i finally find you know an entry right at this point where is my stop loss my stop loss is right below this last loop for heat to breathe don't put it on the pinpoint give it some more space so that to avoid 
week, right? So let's say my target on this trade is right here. Now, how do I manage my trade? So let's go. With everything I taught you, I want you to follow me along. Now, when the market, when the market makes this move right here and returns, you know, I am okay for now. Now, at some point, market makes a retest and continue to move. Like you can see the break. You can see how the structures are incongruent, right? How the structure are incongruent. So that's why you need to understand the structure you're trading. So at this point, what am I going to do? I'll bring my stop loss, which is right here, and I'll put it right here. So let me take out all of this and let's do it. So um, let me take the stop loss. Okay, so let me take this stop loss now and I adjust it right here. Now, you can see that I've already put my stop loss in profit. And even if the market decide that for some reasons, you know, it moves against me, it can take me out easily. But at the same time, I've put my stop loss right below this level in such a way that it's going to let the market breathe, right? So let's keep, uh, let's keep going. So let's say the market, you know, making this and making this, it picked up again. It, it makes this maybe some back to this part. It picks up again. It breaks this level. What am I going to do? My stop loss, which used to be here, will now be placed right here. So let's take the stop loss and let's replace it. So we now have a new stop loss right here. And now let's see, you know, this is an hypothetic situation, right? We're just assuming. I'm going to show you a live example of trade I've taken in the past. Now, the market keep going right here. The moment it breaks this level again, what do you do? You bring the stop loss that used to be here up on the break and close above. What do you do? You bring the stop loss right here and, you know, you bring it right here and boom, you can see the market is going to be helped. And this is how to effectively manage your trade. So I'm going to show you trades that I've personally taken. And I'm going to show you how they played out. Okay. So if, if you know me very well, you're going to understand that I do not take trades. Uh, I do not show example on trades that I do not take. So I'm trying to get the trade right here. So, yeah. Okay. So this is a trade that I took. I just closed uh, on TP today, as at the time I, I was recording the trade on 27th. Okay, so let me show you how I'm able to effectively manage this trade, as you can see it on your screen. So let's go on the chart and let's really do some form of like little back testing on how the trade, you know, played out. So, um, here uh my setup goes like this you know i traded off this area of interest right here and i took the straight off you know the 15 minutes time frame which as you can see you know my strategy is quite very simple like i said again if you want to learn my strategy you can um click on the link in the description and contact me directly so that you can be enrolled so this was my area of best take profit which is where I was looking to, you know, take uh, my profit. So um, my entry goes after the change of the structure. Okay. And of course, additional confirmation was the break of the trend line. Okay. So let's look at what truly happened. Okay. So first of all, notice how I enter upon an understanding of the structure of the market. So the market was moving in a structure like this low high and you can see high low and it moves so if i'm going to manage my trade i got in on my trade right at this point right if i'm going to move if i'm going to manage my trade i need to manage my trade with at least the movement of those structures so what happened my stop loss was here as at the point of my entry my target was here so what happened look how the market moves it started to move many people would have put their stop loss right here and look what would have happened. You would have been wicked out on these candlesticks. So don't be that guy that is so quick to manage that trade. Once your edge and your strategy 
is you're so confident in it then you let it ride let the market breathe you are doing two things when you're managing your trade you are trying to secure your profit accordingly with respect to process and principles and secondly you are actually trying to let the market breathe at the same time so what happened market started to move like this it made a pullback after market made the pullback what happened we saw the break right here what did i do i brought the stop loss which was here and i moved it right here so let us take the stop loss off stop loss was taken off you can see stop loss was replaced below this last low and as at this point i'd already put my stop loss in profit and look how the market smashed me out on my tp1 and i took my trade out right there this is how to effectively manage your trade there is no way you're managing your trade like this that more than 90 percent of the time you won't be able to fall into the error of managing your trade by putting stop loss in entry very fast then the market hits you out and you're trying to get in to struggle to get in again or maybe you put your stop loss so tight and the market could not breathe no first of all you have to have a confidence in your strategy the next thing you understand how to manage trade which means you have to have an understanding of the structure okay so let me show you another example of a trade that I've taken in the past so as you can see this trade right now i took this trade some time ago okay so let me show you how i'm able to manage this trade effectively by principle so let's go on the chart let's look for that particular trade opportunity and when it happened i believe it happened so uh in the past is some some of that nature uh let's go to the one hour time frame. i believe i took the trade on the one hour time frame yep this was the trade right here so my setup i remember this was my point of interest and i was going to take my trade to you know i believe this point right here okay so what do i do i waited for the break of structure now look at the fractals of that structure right there so what happened the moment the market i remember i had my sell stop right here after this rejection i had my sell stop right here and i got in right back right here where was my stop loss right let me annotate it on the screen as you can see my stop loss was right above this last eye and i remember i was going for one ratio two points on the tp side okay so i have my tp side right here so when the market starts to move look how beautiful it fell now market made a lower eye what happened it started to move on the downside so what did i do i left my trade the way it was but then the moment market made it higher lower high what and it broke below what did i do i moved my stop loss which used to be here right i moved it back to this point so what did i do i moved my stop loss just like this right to this point and this was the last spot that my stop loss was when it hit me out don't be in a rush to manage your trade don't be in a rush trust me many people i know you've heard so many things in the market about put your stop loss in entry very fast don't be in a rush you if you're going to trade trade confidently being too fast to break even your trade means it, it's a form of fear and low confidence in your abilities and edge in the market once you know the edge once your edge is giving you the confirmation you need the next thing is for you to follow due process always move your stop loss number one behind the highs and the lows but make sure the lows or the highs are broken first and give your stop loss some distance a little distance four five feet below above the highs and the low and the whole idea is if this trade let's say for example if this trade had made a pro this projection to the back side and broken above this point i would have known that this market is invalid the market wants to move to the upside that is the whole idea so trade management is an essential part the summary is this understand structure the structure you are trading before you even think of managing your trade wait for the equivalent of those structures to form in form of retracement and wait for them to break before you move your um, stop loss and the final thing is don't be too quick to break your trade it's a sign of fear and low confidence in your 
agent strategy. The truth is when you know that you're training according to your agent strategy and the agent in your favor, you let the market ride, let it break. Because managing your trade is you doing two things at a time. You're not only securing profit, but you're giving the market room for it to break. So this is just what you need in order for you to manage your trade. So thank you so much. To dig more into my trade management classes, you can enroll for my mentorship program or my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program via the link in the description. You can contact me directly. Let me put you on course to you know your success in your trading journey. And you can join my free Telegram channel, follow my Instagram, everything are in the link in the description. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful one.